Hi guys, good afternoon, it's Angela, and we're gonna talk about camo today. And this is a bolo item. Um, I'm also gonna talk about one really cool favorite pair of camo um, pants that I found um, while I was traveling down south to see my mom in Mississippi. And so we're just gonna jump right in and we're gonna talk about a couple brands and a couple styles and what I paid for them, what I think I can get out of them, and why? And let's get started. So the first item that I have for you today is a pair of coveralls. And the brand is Walls. And they are insulated, they are warm. Um, you know, keywords I'm gonna use is like mechanic, um, deer hunting, um, just different things like that. Um, they actually, the tag says blizzard proof. So um, people in cold weather like Alaska or different things like that, um, they all, may also, you know, buy those. Um, it's also important, just so you know, people in Alaska and Hawaii like to buy things. A lot of people um, have it where they can't buy from them. It is still part of the continental United States. So when you're sending priority mail, you know, especially in the flat rate boxes or the, you know, it's gonna cost you the same amount. So please don't just include them. Um, they're limited to what they can get because of where they are anyway. And so a lot more of them actually buy online. But anyway, let's let's continue on. So the next item that I have is a jacket. It is hooded. Um, it is again camo. Um, this particular brand is Duckback, and it's D U X B A K or B A K. That is correct. And again, it is insulated. Uh, again, would be great for hunting. Um, different things like that. Um, I paid three dollars for that jacket. Uh, I should be able to get about twenty-five to twenty-eight dollars out of that jacket. Um, it's in very good condition. Always check the condition, check the pockets. Um, sometimes you know the pockets are ripped or whatever, and then you don't you don't want to worry about it. So the next item that I have for you is a walls. Now, I like walls. Walls tends to sell really well for me. Um, this is a very thick strong sturdy shirt and it is more leaves and more of a brown instead of the greens that we've had before uh, again the bigger sizes sell better um, I paid one dollar for that shirt and I should be able to get about twenty dollars out of that shirt the last regular camo item that I have for you today is a military issue so let's talk about military issue for just a moment um, this is army this is a pair of army pants, okay? This is a smaller size. Um, just because it's a smaller size doesn't mean it's not gonna sell. It may sit a little bit longer and you're not gonna get quite as much for it, but it will sell. It just may be a longer tail item. So I paid a dollar for the camel pants, okay? They're in very good condition. Um, make sure that when you're doing the sizes in the military issue, okay, you include the waist approximate so in military issue pants it's not going to say a size 36 it's going to say like a, a large medium or a large regular or a large short or a large tall and then it's going to give you the sizes of what all it will fit because there's so many soldiers and so many people that are enlisted they have to be a little bit more strategic in their clothing since everything is issued and then let me show you on the bottom of military issue pants, you're gonna see these, these drawstrings. And so what these do is they pull them. And so when you pull them, you're going to be able to lengthen it or you know shorten it depending on your height, okay? So now we're gonna talk about my favorite camo and the inspiration for my video today. So all of the items that I just showed you, I bought very close to my home. Um, it's actually a, a privately run um, thrift store for uh, a, a church camp, okay? And their prices are very reasonable. They get a lot of stuff in and they just kind of like to move things out pretty quick, especially clothes. Um, so all of the pants are a dollar a piece. All of the shirts are a dollar a piece. Um, most of the jackets are $3. Uh, most of the coats are between $5 and $10. Uh, the coveralls that I got are they're always $5, um, unless they're specifically marked. Um, you know, they might mark up North Face or, you know, some of those. But for the majority, it's pretty much across the board. Um, they don't mark a lot up because they don't have a lot of room. And so, 
that's where I got most of my items. Now these are also military issued pants, but these are different. These are unique and let me tell you why. I'm going to do up close so you can see this pattern. Now, as you can see, that's not a, a, a traditional pattern that we see, especially in the United States, and here's why. This particular pattern, okay, actually is from East German is where it was developed. And this pattern is nicknamed one dash, no dash. Okay, obviously in German, don't speak German. I would totally butcher it if I tried to say it, so I won't. I don't want to offend anybody. Um, but it's really cool. When you don't know a pattern or you don't know an item, there's a little tip for you. If you go onto Facebook, there's a group that you can join. And it is, what is it? And it is specifically for antiques or, or interesting, unique items. And you can post pictures. Or you can describe the items with a picture. You can say, okay, I know well, at least these, these are military. But I don't know what the pattern is. Um, and so people will come on that have all of this knowledge. And everyone comes together. And it's a very, very good community that we help each other out. And so I may know something that somebody else does it. And somebody else may know something that I don't. And so a gentleman, bless his heart, immediately within like 10 minutes says, here's the pattern. There you go. And so then I was able to research the, the exact name pattern and get that history, which is kind of cool. Um, and it was used from 1965 until 1990. And so now I know the era that those pants were used, which is really important when you're listing something. And then you can include that because now they know it's at least vintage, but they know at least what years that it would have been in. And then you're also giving them the name of the pattern instead of just saying it's a cam or it's military. So doing that research also helps your buyers because now then they are really happy that you gave them that information and now they can search or they can save that search for other items that they may want. And so always going that extra mile, always going that extra step in um, helping those people um, really goes a really long way. you know. And I'll give you a, a small example. I had a lady um, message me after she bought an item. She received it. She loved it. Okay. She asked if I had any more. I said, no, I'm sorry. I really don't. Um, I buy from estates. I buy from different places like that. I don't have a way of specifically looking for one specific item. Please save my store though. You never know what you're going to find. And I may, may not come up with that again. I don't know. But here's what you can do. And so I explained to her the save search feature. And that if she put that specific item in her search and hit save search, when one was listed, then she would get an email and she would be able to grab that right up. So she came back, she's like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. That is so cool. Thank you so much for taking the time to do that. Taking just a couple of minutes to help your customers um, will help them, one, leave you positive feedback um, if they haven't already, or two, Maybe like your store, maybe watch your store more carefully. When they go to buy something, they might look at you first. Um, there's so many sellers out there. There's so many places that they can buy. Really think about your customer service that you can give um, when you have the opportunity. Um, it's definitely worth a couple extra minutes and it it will help her in, in locating some things that are no longer made. So anyway, today was about camo and I hope that gives you some items to go look for, um, some pattern that is unique. And so if you do sell something that looks like camo that has a really unique pattern, grab it and look it up, grab it. And if it's cheap enough, even if you can't look it up there, take it home, spend a dollar, $2, $3, whatever, and research it. Use that as an educational tool, you know? Uh, be willing to take a little bit of a risk, you know, with some things like that. And that's all I have for you today. Everybody had, have an awesome, awesome weekend. Today is Friday. And be safe and get your stuff up out of the cash piles and onto the wide, wide web so you can sell it and make some money. Bye, guys.